Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's kind of like a part two video in my like cruise packing well it's not a series it's two videos but this is like the second cruise packing video that I am posting here because I just filmed the carry-on portion and I just know that I tend to talk a lot sometimes so I was breaking this up into two parts just so like it's little bite-sized pieces and you can just like find what you need in one video rather than having a 30 minute video to like filter through so this is kind of like the second installment in this little video duo if you want to see what is like essential for your carry-on or what I run in my carry-on then I will link that video up above and it down below so you guys can check that out this is just gonna be all about the contents of the luggage the stuff that you're like checking more or less so if y'all would like to see what's in my giant cruise suitcase then just keep watching and kind of like I mentioned in that video a lot of this stuff I did show in my like Amazon like travel haul cruise edition I ordered a ton of stuff on Amazon that was specific to this trip we're taking on this cruise and some of this you will have seen in that video but if you want to just see a bunch of travel like goodies and gadgets not just necessarily cruise specific but just in general definitely check out that video I think that's probably already up so again I will link that up above and down below Amazon haul videos are just like my favorite and I'm sure y'all really like them too so you should check it out there's a lot of good stuff so I'm not gonna go like too crazy in depth here I'm just kind of gonna give you guys like a general overview of what I packed how I'm organizing it and like what I kind of feel like is essential. I'm just gonna start here with my like makeup bag. I kind of have a separate toiletry bag for my makeup bag, but I like to bring a lot of makeup. So this is like a really big Steve Madden one. It actually has like two zippered compartments and then it even has like a little zippered compartment on the inside. It also has this really nice strap on it. So it's super easy to carry. So I'm just gonna be throwing a ton of makeup in here. I honestly haven't packed my makeup yet because I always do that last because A, I procrastinate because I dread packing my makeup because it takes me so long. And B, I obviously need Need to use some of it on a daily basis so my makeup itself is not packed but what I have in here that's kind of not makeup related is my little contacts pouch so obviously it has my contacts the solution my eye drops all that good stuff if you do wear contacts like every day which I obviously don't I just wear them occasionally this might be something that you want to have in your carry-on but for me I'm probably gonna be wearing my glasses so I don't need this handy like immediately and then I also have like a little pouch in here that just has like some of my smaller things that I don't want to get lost in like the big mess of my toiletry bag and that's just like bobby pin and hair ties and tweezers and nail clippers and like a scrunchie some like the, the, those little hair ties for braids like just some of those like little miscellaneous things that I want to keep organized I just have in a little pouch I really like pouches I like things to be so organized and then I just have like a little thing of q-tips in here too I love everything to be in its own little place and all organized if you guys like that too definitely I'm telling you check out the Amazon video it has all the things and then kind of right next to that I have our little like toiletry bag situation so in here just like sandwiched in the middle I keep my travel mirror this was in an Amazon travel haul previously this is like a must-have for literally any trip ever but it just like posts up and you can do your makeup so easily and I'm not gonna like totally empty this out but some of the important stuff in here as you can see this is like clear so it's really really handy because you can see everything that you have and you don't have a lot of room in your bathroom or like anywhere honestly in your stateroom on the cruise so you want to keep things like really organized but also like compact so some of the important things that I think you definitely need to have with you besides the obvious I think they have like shampoo and all that stuff on the cruise like provided for you but I do have like my own shampoo and conditioner and body wash and loofah and things like that and then obviously you want to bring like your toothbrush and your toothpaste and like all that jazz but some other stuff that's maybe not as obvious these are little um shout wipe and go instant stain remover they actually are all in like little individual packets in there so you can throw one of these like in your purse if you want to just carry it with you you're gonna probably be eating and drinking a ton on the cruise so you want to have this just in case because you're probably not gonna do laundry and then of course I have this little hairbrush actually I just got this yesterday this is like a limited edition um little mini wet brush look how cool it's kind of like iridescent it has like almost like I don't know snake skin on it I thought that was so beautiful something you're definitely gonna want to have with you is a wrinkle releaser because there are not irons on the cruise and you can't have those obviously that's like a fire hazard so pretty much your only hope of like getting any wrinkles out of your clothes especially your nicer stuff like if you have a formal dinner you're gonna need a wrinkle release spray so I bring this pretty much every time we travel but especially for the cruise and here I also have sunscreen I actually think this is an essential and this isn't just hand sanitizer because I did mention in my carry-on portion of this video that obviously hand sanitizer is very important there's like a 
thousands of people on your ship and everyone's touching everything and they can only clean so often. So of course I'm gonna have hand sanitizer with me in my bag that I bring around the cruise, but this is good to have in the room. And this is Germax, this is the best smell ever. It's vanilla citrus, it smells amazing. But this is a spray version. I really just like spray hand sanitizer. I think it's so handy. But you could also spray this on things, on surfaces. Just the fact of it being a spray is kinda nice. I definitely think disinfecting stuff is gonna be important. And then another little important thing is some bug spray. I mean, on the deck of the cruise, you might not have too much trouble with bugs, but when you get to your destination, it could definitely be buggy depending on, you know, where you're going in the time of year. So I'm gonna have bug spray for my husband to use. And then I just have like body wash, body lotion, body spray, dry shampoo, hairspray. This is kind of like a little guy of just like some miniature skincare things. So like makeup remover, eye cream, face wash, face moisturizer. This is just kind of like a little mini, cause I'm not gonna be doing a ton of skincare, but I wanna have a few of my essentials. So that's kind of just like an overview of just some of this stuff. Obviously there's deodorant and my husband's hair gel and all kinds of other stuff in this side but those are just kind of like the main essentials that I think you need to not forget and then on the opposite side I only have really have a couple of things over here kind of miscellaneous stuff so obviously I have our travel toothbrush toothpaste and floss I have some feminine products just in case I have a little lint roller and then basically the only other thing in there is two razors some travel tissues and then a big old thing of earplugs. These are a good thing to have just in case, like, I mean, obviously the rooms are nowhere near soundproof. So just in case you're not sleeping well. So that's really all that I have in this guy. And this is just gonna be so handy because it's like, it just has everything. And then underneath of that, this is actually an Amazon find as well. And this is, we use this in Barcelona too. This is like the best purchase ever. This is just kind of like a little backpack. And it's actually an anti-theft backpack because as you guys may be able to tell, you actually can't open it except for back here so it literally can't be like opened when you don't know about it and it just flaps open it's got like a little pouch on the flap and it has a ton of room in here i'm telling you this is deceptively huge it's literally like my favorite amazon purchase ever it's really sturdy really nice quality but it also has little side pockets for like water bottles or your sunglasses it actually comes with this little keychain which is adorable i just feel really safe using this and then of course i have my little travel jewelry case i've shown this a million times i will link it but this just has like a bunch of my stud earrings, some of my like little hair clip, a bunch of like nicer earrings for like the nice dinners. They're all in like this little pouch. I keep my nicer earrings in there, a pair of hoops, a few little necklaces, and this is all just like self-contained in this little guy. I think this is so cute. It's like the perfect little size. And then of course I have my travel like portable charger. So this is just the case and then the actual charger is in here. This is just like a power bank. I have the charger for the power bank itself. And then this is actually like a mini lightning cable. So it actually has like the iPhone plug. So if you're charging your phone, you don't have to use your like giant plug. You can just use this little guy and plug it in. And I always need to have this. Like you never know when you're gonna need something like this. This is definitely an essential. These two might be a little unnecessary, but I like to have them. We used them when we went on our trip in Barcelona, like in Spain, and we did use them. These are just like little travel towels. They're like microfiber towels. So they're pretty big, but they fold up really small and they're actually very absorbent. I'm just bringing these in case we need like towels to sit on. And then I also have my little laundry bag. So I just use this. This is actually one of those laundry bags you can actually wash clothes in, like put this in the wash. But I just use this as a laundry bag for dirty clothes, like underwear, socks, like t-shirts, bathing suits, whatever once they're dirty we'll just throw them in here so that way they're separate from all our other clothes these are also a good idea to use for shoes if you have like dirty shoes that you need to bring with you that you don't want touching your clothes you could also just throw your shoes in here like your flip-flops or your sneakers and keep them protected from you know your other stuff and then I mentioned this little sleeve in my Amazon video but this is like a little travel sleeve for your like straightener or curling iron it's kind of nice because you can just shove your items in here and it kind of just keeps them all wound up but then this sleeve also obviously flattens out when there's nothing in it and then it's just kind of like a silicone protective mat for if you're sitting on the floor doing your hair or on the counter or wherever you're at even just in like at home life this is just kind of a little protective silicone mat so this is an Amazon find I will link this this is super handy and I don't know how necessary this will be hopefully we don't need it but this is just our little travel umbrella I feel like they usually make travel umbrellas like way smaller than this I don't know how I ended up with this massive one but it has this little carrying case which is nice so I'm gonna bring this just in case and then the very last thing I want to mention is our beach bag I actually just got this from Target. This was such a good price. This is like six dollars and this is a massive beach bag. It has like pockets all over it. This is so great. I'm super excited that I found this and I actually just threw some like beach essentials in here. So I have a bunch of pairs of sunglasses in the bottom here. This also might be something you would want to put in your carry-on 
if you know you think you would need them right away but I think we'll probably be fine for at least a couple hours without our sunglasses and then at the very bottom this is an Amazon find again I will link it but these are just those like waterproof phone pouches that are like clear and you can just slide your phone into them these actually came with like little lanyards as well so I think they're gonna be super handy but they're just those little pouches that you put your phone in just keep them waterproof I don't plan on bringing my phone in the actual water but I feel like when we're at the pool or when we're at the beach like at the destination I feel like I will feel better having my phone in something like this you can still use your phone while it's in here I've tested that so it's really nice that you can still like use your phone but it's just gonna keep them extra safe and then I threw a bunch of games in this bag too just because I feel like in general like at the pool but also at dinner or lunch or kind of anywhere you might want to just have some like fun games to like play with your family or with your spouse or whatever so I have a deck of playing cards I have uno and then I also have these like little conversation cards that basically just have like questions just to like ask each other and start conversation more or less so I have those in here I also have my little like portable razor this is like the handiest little thing ever it has like water soap and a razor all in one here and you literally just like turn this little guy to like use it's crazy this is like the handiest thing of all time. So I like to have this with me like beach trip or anywhere where I like I'm gonna have obviously a lot of my skin showing because if I miss a spot on my leg it will bother me so much and I'll literally think about it the whole entire day long. So this is something to alleviate that. I can literally shave any little spots I miss or honestly you could probably shave like your whole leg with this. I've never tried that but this is more for like shaving touch ups. And then the last thing in this bag is just like this little pouch. Again I love pouches. And in here I just have probably the most important thing and that are these towel clips you can obviously use these for more than just towels but the main function of these is to just attach your towel to your beach chair especially on the ship where it's really windy like this is important to have but it also kind of like marks your territory keeps your towel from sliding up and down these are just like so good to have so I have a bunch in here and then I just have two different bottles of sunscreen and I also have a few of these like little crystal light packets so if we have our water while we're at the pool or anywhere honestly we could turn it into like lemonade or whatever and then I also have just a little SPF chapstick in here so kind of all your sun protection and like beach slash pool essentials are right in here and that's more or less the contents of this suitcase other than obviously we have a bunch of packing cubes just to show you like a little example here's one of them here's another one I actually have a bunch of these different trip travel gear cubes that I can link these for you guys these are like the best travel cubes I have like 15 of them I have so many from them and they're amazing they're like compressionable too I like overstuffed these to the point where I couldn't compress oh well, actually this one I was able to compress but these are so good for organizing your clothes. They have these little handles so you can put them in and out of your suitcase easily, move them around the room, take them out, put them back. They're like a crucial way of organizing your clothes. Like this is all my bathing suits and swimsuit cover-ups. This is like bras, underwears, and socks. It's just, it's literally the best way of organizing your suitcase. So I will link these down below. I think travel cubes are very, very important. And especially for a cruise where like you don't have a lot of room, I feel like it's important to be able to have your stuff organized so that you can unpack and pack and like have everything like all contained together again like I keep saying I just love pouches so like they they're right up my alley actually one other thing I wanted to mention that I just have like in this little divider pouch and that is a whole bunch of different size ziploc bags so I have some big ones some little ones just a couple just because I feel like you can never know when you're gonna need something like that like for either wet bathing suits or just if you need to like bring a couple things with you in your beach bag or if like you're bringing like food if you're like bringing a little bit of snacks with you or with your kids or anything like that I just feel like you can never know what you're gonna need Ziploc bags for and it's always better to have them and not need them than to need them and not have them or even if you need to protect things from getting wet like if you don't have one of those phone covers you can put your phone your wallet like anything that you want to keep from getting wet you can put in one of these so I definitely suggest bringing some Plastic bags, it's just a good idea. And then the only other things I have in here is obviously just clothes. There's really like no secret hack to that. If you are gonna be going like on any specific water-related excursions, you wanna definitely have water shoes. There's some really good ones on Amazon. We just didn't need them. You wanna have some formal outfits. There's probably gonna be a few formal dinners. So you wanna make sure you have like some nicer dresses or like outfits, you know, male formal outfits some nicer shoes you definitely want to make sure you have some like cardigans or like light like pullover sweaters probably not something as heavy as this like a sherpa but it can definitely get cold at night on the ship especially when it's like windy and stuff like that another like little random hack that i just want to mention you typically can't even if you buy the wi-fi packages you typically can't stream anything like movies or like spotify or anything like that so what I suggest doing is like downloading any like YouTube videos or Netflix movies or anything that you might want to watch or downloading your podcast just so that you're able to still like use some of that more entertainment related stuff that you typically would need like Wi-Fi or at least like cell phone service for. You want to make sure you download that stuff so it's like on your phone. 
The same goes for the cruise app. I know Carnival has like the hub app where like you can access that with or without internet and it will have like everything that you need to know for that cruise specifically that day, like what time you're arriving in port, what time you're leaving. I'm pretty sure it keeps the ship time on there. It'll have like the menu for the different like restaurants on the ship. It'll have the itinerary, like what shows and things are going on on the ship that day. And that's if all you can use without Wi-Fi. And then I think for like a little bit of a fee, you can kind of use it as like a texting app and you can communicate with other people that are on the ship with you. So that's a good thing to have on your phone. The other thing that I have not packed yet is our silicone wedding bands because we are still like wearing them to the gym and stuff. But I'm obviously not going to necessarily want to wear my wedding band like into the beach and into the pool. So I will be throwing our silicone wedding bands in here. That's something we're going to need. And then you also want to make sure you bring your insurance cards just in case, you know, anything goes down. You definitely want to make sure that you have all your, all your relevant information. I feel like it never hurts to just have it because you never know what could happen. So that is going to be everything that I packed for the cruise. Like I said, if you haven't seen the carry on version, then definitely check that out next. It will be linked. If y'all have any like recommendations or like anything that I missed or anything that you think would help other people or anything like that, or just questions in general, please leave them down below. I would love to hear. I've been on a couple cruises. My husband has not been on any, so I have some experience, not a ton, but I could always like use more tips and tricks, but these are just the one I have. Oh, that's what I wanted to mention. The metal hooks, all the walls of your cabin are metal like steel so if you have like little metal hooks or just like little refrigerator magnets that have clips on them you could bring those and just put them literally on any wall in your stateroom and you can like hang hats or bathing suits or documents or your itinerary or pretty much anything from those little hooks I didn't end up doing that just because I'm not sure that we're gonna really need it and I didn't have any I wasn't gonna just like buy them randomly in the event that we need them because I don't think that we're gonna have that much stuff once we have kids and like we have a whole bunch of more things to organize then I feel like those would be relevant but just for the two of us I don't feel like that's something we're gonna need but that is something I wanted to mention that you could definitely bring that I feel like would be potentially useful thank you guys so much for watching and I hope that you enjoyed if you would like subscribe we'd love to have you we have so much fun here and until next time I will see y'all in our next video bye guys